Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to the story train. That's right. It's the time for the story train. Every day at 9 a.m., I am here. I'm Miss Sharon, and I'm so happy to have you join me here today. We'll be reading and telling stories and learning about the alphabet and just having such a nice time together. I'm so happy to spend my mornings with you. And I love that you're here. And so we, we can um, talk about that it's a new day and that we have a cuckoo clock and we have a choo-choo train clock. And those are things that we can talk about and maybe take a visit to Story Train Town. That's right, boys and girls. Hello, hello, and welcome to the show. Hello, hello, there's something you should know. Hello, hello, I'm so glad that you are here. It's so nice to spend some time with you. We're friends forever true. Hello, hello, and welcome to the show. I said hello, hello, there's something you should know. Hello, hello, I'm so glad that you are here. Otis, good morning, Chelsea. It's so nice to spend some time with you. We're friends forever true. Like that. Good morning. <laughs> nice that for you to join me here this morning on the story train. And it's a new day. Right, Otis? You get up out of bed and you maybe still have your jammies on or you got dressed into your clean clothes for the day. And you brush your teeth and you smile and your mommy makes you some breakfast and you have some juice and Miss Sharon has her tea. And it says friends because everybody's friends on the story train, right? I have my tea. And this is my new choo-choo train clock. Look at this. Are we ready to see the choo-choo train go around? Watch this because it's a, so we'll press the button. It's right here, Otis. Look at that. Ready? And the choo-choo train is going to go around the track. Ready? Keep an eye out. You'll be the conductor. Say all aboard. <laughs> the bell. And then we'll press the button again. Oh, oh boy, that means it's the time for a story, story train. <laughs> That's right, it's time for story train. <laughs> so early in the morning. So we sing our sunshine song because it's a brand new day. And every day we sing about the sunshine that it comes up and we're so happy. And even if it's rainy or cloudy outside, the sun, the sun still comes up and we sing a nice song for the sun. Ready? Join in. <laughs> sing along with me. I'll have my little tambourine. And you can help me, we'll do that. How's that? Okay, here we go. <laughs> you are my choo-choo train clock and I think now what we could do maybe is sing happy birthday to friends out there because it might be someone's birthday at home and we want them to know that it's a special day and we're also practicing how to sing happy birthday two times like for when you're washing your hands it's good to sing it two times so to get all the germs off your hands that's what we're doing that's what I do I sing happy birthday to me two times when I wash my hands 
because I need to be reminded how long to wash my own hands too so the grown-ups can do that. So we have our birthday candle for the boys and girls at home. It's their birthday. And so if it's your birthday, why don't you turn this on for me? It has a little button on the bottom like that. And we'll, oh, look at that. That's someone's birthday candle. Because that's why it's your birthday at home. It's your birthday. I know that. And maybe you're not able to spend your birthday with your friends, boys and girls, right? And with your teacher. Maybe you're not able to go out and have the birthday party that you would have liked to have had. But that's all right. We're remembering you every, whoever's birthday it is, every day we sing happy birthday because it's a special day. And the boys and girls at home help, help sing this song to everyone's birthday. So, and we sing it two times. Ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Because it's your birthday. One more time. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. That's right. Whoever's birthday it is out there, and I know that it's yours, or maybe it's your birthday today, it's a special day. And so we make sure we sing, and then we let you blow out the Story Train birthday candle. Ready? Take a deep breath. Blow out your candle and make a nice wish. Ready? <sighs> Again. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, there we go. You did a good job. Good job blowing out the candle. Nice job. And thank you for everyone who sang at home because it's a special day if it's someone's birthday. And we want to make sure that they know that. Right? So what do you have to drink this morning, Otis? Do you have some milk or some juice? What do you... Because Miss Sharon's having some tea. Right? This is my tea mug. So, this morning we learn about the letters. Oh, but we, before we do that, boys and girls, I think I have some special hellos that I need to do. What do you think about that? I have my crystal ball. And the crystal ball has all of the names of all of the children in the whole world in there. And so I try my best to say names of, all, of as many boys and girls as I can. Right? So right now I know there's someone is out there watching. And that someone's name is Otis. Look at you. That's your name in there, Otis. I see you right there. Isn't that so nice? And then I see Elsie and Hannah and Hazel and Winter. And I see Hayden and Bailey and Logan and Allison, Davey and Mackenzie. There's so many children. Savannah and Dylan and Allie and Aubrey, Isabel and Salem Story and um, Lucia and Elazne. Look at all these children's names. My goodness, I just can't keep up with all of that. And Kara and Camille and Christina. Thank you so much for, and Maya, who did I, I hope I didn't miss anyone. Did I say Hazel and Winter? Oh, and Rose. Hello, Rose. <laughs> Good morning, boys and girls. And that's how I can see some children's names in my crystal bottle. Right. We'll put that right there so that we'll have, oh, maybe we'll put it right over here so that we'll have it for tomorrow. And look what I've picked in my garden, boys and girls. <gasps> Do you know what those are? Aren't those pretty? I picked some yellow flowers, right? They're yellow and they're green and they were growing in my garden and my dog ran by them and broke, broke them off. And so I grabbed them and I brought them inside and I'm giving them some water so they'll stay nice and fresh for a couple more days anyway. <laughs> so we'll, well, I could, I'll put this over here so that we can enjoy the look of fresh flowers. Because it is springtime, right, boys and girls? I bet you have some of those in maybe in your yard. So today, there we go. We'll put that right here. I found a picture of, of a little boy that I that I knew. 
that's his picture right there. So today is, 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 is Wednesday. Yes, it is Wednesday, but it's not April 14th anymore, boys and girls. Oh, that means it is time for the story train. That's that cuckoo clock. It just, see that? And then it makes a little music. I think, there they go. They're slow in the morning. <laughs> the little, the little people who go around. Yeah, they just take their time. They're so calm. <laughs> it's nice to listen to it. So today is, yesterday was April 14th, boys and girls. But today is no longer April 14th. Although it is, it still is April. But it's the next new day. And that means today is April 15th. Isn't that so fun? April 15th. That just means that it's, it's another new day. Yeah, April 15th. The month of April is just flying by. <laughs> flying by, and the days go by, and it is Wednesday. Because we all need to keep up with what day it is. Since everything is kind of on hold right now, a lot of us are home from work. Grown-ups are home from work, and they're working at home. <laughs> the children are not in school yet, but they'll be going back at some point. So it's important for all of us to try and keep the date and fresh in our mind every day when we wake up. So you can even just tune in just to learn what day it is today, because I do that every day. There we go. April 15th, Wednesday. This is the story train. So I said good morning to the boys and girls at home. And now it's time. Why don't we do some letters? Right? We can learn about some of the alphabet letters. Right, boys and girls? And I have my alphabet right here. Oh, my alphabet board. We do this every day. We always go over the alphabet. We are learning our letters. Right, boys and girls? So it's important for us to do this every day. Every day we go over the ABCs and we sing the alphabet song. Ready? So you sing along with me if you're just learning that. Maybe you know it already though. Well, that's good. So you could probably lead if I'll listen for you. Okay, so I'll try not to sing too fast because you're going to be leading the, the charge of the alphabet song. Here we go. A, B, C, D, E, F. G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. See, say that slow. It's not elemental. No, no, no. It's four letters. L, M, N, O, P. Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Z. Z like zebra. <laughs> That's the sound that it makes. Now I know my ABCs. Thank you so much for singing with me. Thank you so much, boys and girls at home, for singing with me. And for those of you who already know the ABCs, for being patient, because some of us don't really know them yet. So let's 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 do some sounds for these letters because they all have sounds. All of these 26 letters have sounds. Just like, the, this is the letter Z, right? We just said that. And that is the sound, what was that? That's right, it's like a buzz, not a buzz. It's just the z part of a buzz, of a bee buzz. Like that, zebra. And also we have the letter, what's that? The letter S. Can you do that? The letter S has the sound s, s snake. Okay? And so today, boys and girls, is the letter I. We're going to be talking about the letter I today. And that's right there. And the letter I is a vowel. Right, boys and girls? And there are five vowels. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, each is a vowel day. And Wednesday is vowel I day. So the vowel I, or the letter I, has the sound of if, as in the word if, if. The letter I has the sound of if. 
So we have some some words that we can see, and you'll hear you'll be able to hear the sound of it in in these words. Here they are. I have some little cards for us to look at. That's back, so we won't do that. Now this is a picture of. Do you know what that is? You build with that, boys and girls. You build with that. It's called a brick, and it has the i sound in it. Br i brick. And then you can also, here's a stick. Let's see, maybe that way. How's that? That is a picture of a stick, and that has the i sound in it. Stick. And then this is a picture of, let's see, what. oh, a drill. I like that, because Miss Sharon likes to build things. So that is a, a picture of a drill. I, it has an i sound in a drill. And then also, oh, there's a duck, Bill. This is his bill, right there. And that has the sound of I in it, right? And then we have some, some also, how about this, a chick? A baby chick has the sound of I, right? And then a chipmunk. He's eating an acorn, and then a ship. A ship has that sound, and also, how about slippers have the I sound, and we have that. Oh. a crib, a crib for a baby, has an I sound in it. Also, drop that. Pick that right up and put that there. So I also have some books here, boys and girls, with the sound of I. Click, clack, and cluck. This has the sound of I. You know what we need to do first before I do this, boys and girls? We did plant some seeds about a week ago. Right? Do you remember we planted seeds? If you were here, we, we did that together. Well, guess what? I wanted to show you their progress and maybe water a few of these. This out of the way. So, show you the progress because guess what? What a surprise it will be when you see that some of these seeds, these vegetable seeds, have begun to grow. Want to see? Look, I'm so happy. <laughs> if I could show you. Let's see if you can see. Do you see those little, those little green spots? They're just starting, like right in there, look. See them? They're beginning to grow, and there are, there's corn and green beans. And so I need to water these a little bit, just a little bit, you can help me. And then we'll move this out of the way, and then we'll read a story. So I have my water just in a little cup, measuring cup, with a little spout so that I can pour gently, very gently. See, we pour a little bit on that one. Each one gets a little bit of water. We won't do all of them right now. I just wanted you to be able to help me do some of them right now because we're going to be planting vegetables probably in, a, in about three weeks. We can plant them outside. I have a nice place for a garden out in my yard, and we can do that together when it comes time. Thank you so much for helping me water those. So I'm going to take this out of the way and just move it over on my windowsill so that the sun can shine on it. I'll just put this over here for now. Right. Be right back. We were going to read a little story right now. It's called Click, Clack, and Cluck. And that has, this book has the vowels, I, A, and U, which we can listen to. We can hear them. Click has the I sound, the I. Clack has A. And Cluck has the A uh sound. All right. So I'll read this for you and hold the book up. How's that? Can you see that? I hope. Okay. Pick, peck, pick. 
I'm a little chick. Pick, peck, pick. I'm a little chick. Where is he? There he is. He, he thinks he's a little chick. Pick, peck, pick. I'm a little chick. Oh, does he look like a little chick? These are the chicks here. Right? Does he look like a chick? Does he look yellow? He looks a little brown to me. Hmm. But he thinks he's a chick. Let's see what he is. Let's see what happens. Turn the page. Here we go. Pick, peck, pick. I'm a little chick. No, no, no. They were saying, no, no, no. You're not a little chick. Oh. I am. I am. I am a little chick. I am. I am. Mom, Mom, I am a chick. Tell me I'm a chick. Please, Mom, tell me I'm a chick. Can you see that? I hope. Okay. Well, said the hen, <laughs> I'll just have to tell you what really happened. <laughs> oh, boy. As I sat on my egg, said the hen, I got... It just was so hot and I went outside. I didn't feel really well. And while I was outside taking a walk to cool off, the fox came and took all of my eggs. <sighs> Pen, Pen, quick. The fox got the eggs, yelled Ben. Hen and Ben went to the shop and got 10 more eggs, said the hen. Wow. And they brought them back so that the hen could sit on them. And she sat on the new eggs that they brought for her. And she said, yes, that's right. She sat on the new eggs that they brought for her. <laughs> then, let's see. Look. So all of the eggs opened up, but then... Look, it's not a chick. But she loved loved it because it was her baby. And so, Mom, look, look in the pond. It's a duck. It's me. I'm a little duck. Oh. Click, clack, cluck. I'm a duck. I'm a little duck. The chicks got hot. The chicks got very hot because it was summertime. Click, clack, cluck. It's hot, it's hot. Ducks can swim, but chicks cannot, sang the little duck. So he could jump in, right? And get all cooled off. And the chicks could not. Click, clack, cluck. I'm a little duck. The chicks are hot, but the ducks are not. Right? We know that story. That was from a, kind of a little bit of a take on the Ugly Duckling story, I, I suppose. Right? It's about chicks. And now we have some dinosaur that we can look at. Why don't we take a look at this book? This is Dinosaur Story. Because I know there are boys and girls at home who really are very intrigued by dinosaurs. They like them. Right? They're big. They like to see them. They probably have toys that of dinosaurs. So this, we'll just go through and look at some of the pictures. Right now, there really aren't any dinosaurs left. But we have skeletons. Yes, this is an old book, boys and girls. <laughs> but the picture is there. It's a skeleton of a dinosaur. Because they don't live. Oh, look at this big tall one. That's a big dinosaur. Do you have a dinosaur like that at home? A, a plastic one maybe that you play with? Let's see. Oh, and there were so many dinosaurs before. Long, long time ago. And there really weren't any people then though. It was mostly dinosaurs. And there were so many different kinds. 
And they roamed around the earth and they ate all the plants and the trees and the, le the leaves and the plants. And they went swimming, but they were very large. So large. And then there was a really large one who used to scare the other ones and his name was T-Rex. See, he had so many teeth. And he would try and chase them and have them for supper. But he had a hard time catching this one with all the spikes on his back. Those are called plates. This one could protect itself with those. And then there were some that weren't that big and they would chase the birds. Then we have Triceratops right here. Wow, right, he was big. He had three horns on his head. And Tyrannosaurus Rex would try and get them. There was a lot of fighting back in the age of the dinosaurs. They used to, there was a lot of fighting with these meat eaters, right? And Tyrannosaurus Rex was taller than a two-story house. That's pretty tall. He's bigger than, taller than a house. Big jaws and many, many teeth. Each tooth was six inches long. He could eat almost every other dinosaur. It was the most terrible dinosaur there ever was. Danger, danger, here comes T-Rex, chasing all the other dinosaurs. He was dangerous to all of them. None of them were safe if T-Rex was there. And they even fought with each other. They didn't even get along with their own T-Rex cousins. Millions and millions of of years went by, then all the dinosaurs died out. One by one they died until there weren't any left anywhere. That was a long time ago, boys and girls. The dinosaurs used to roam everywhere, all over the earth. But now all we have are fossils and skeletons of the dinosaurs. That's about it, that's all we have left. But we can still learn about them and we can watch videos on TV and we can see their fossils, the skeleton at museums. So we can still learn a lot about the dinosaurs even though they're really not here anymore, right? Good, so how about a little song right now? Let's sing some songs because I love to sing and I love to have you join me when I sing my song. So how about if we sing, since we're so happy because it's a new day. How about if we sing if you're happy and you know it? And so we'll clap our hands. We'll do three things. First, next, and last. Three. We will sit, we will clap our hands, stomp our feet, and snap our fingers. All right, boys and girls? And we'll do it together. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, snap your fingers. That takes practice. If you're happy and you know it, snap your fingers. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, snap your fingers. If you're happy and you know it, say hoorah, hoorah. If you're happy and you know it, say hoorah, hoorah. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, say hoorah, hoorah. All right, now that's four things, boys and girls. So the next one, we're going to do all four of these things that we just did. We clap our hands, 
we snapped our fingers. Oh, we stomped our feet. <laughs> then we snapped our fingers. Then we said, hoorah. All right, so that's what we'll do. If you're happy, and it's okay if you get mixed up, because that happens to me too. If you're happy and you know it, do all four. Stomp, stomp. Snap, snap. Hurrah, hurrah. If you're happy and you know it, do all four. Stomp, stomp, snap, snap. Hurrah, hurrah. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, do all four. Clap your hands. Stomp your feet. Snap your fingers and say hurrah, hurrah, hurrah. Yay. That's right. That's how you do that song. Right? If you're happy and you know it. Now we can also sing the song about the little mouse that runs up the clock. And we're going to be counting to the number five with the cuckoo, with the with the mouse running up the clock. Let's see. So I have a little mouse, a pretend mouse, because this is just pretend. I wouldn't want to be holding a little mouse. No, thank you. But this is a pretend mouse. Actually, it's for my kitty cats. It has a little light thing on it, see? <laughs> and the kitty cat chases the light. See it? But not on the wall. <laughs> I put it on the floor and then the little kitty cat chases it. So I have a pretend mouse here, boys and girls. And there is a song that we can sing for this. And it's about the mouse running up the clock. And we have numbers. And I think we'll just go to number five today. Or maybe more, but we'll see. So, this is the number one. Just one. Hickory dickory dock. The mouse ran up the clock. They went up there. The clock struck one and down he ran. Hickory dickory dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck two. He lost his shoe. Hickory dickory dock. That's shoe. Hickory dickory dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck three. He banged his knee and came back down. Hickory dickory dock. Hickory dickory dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck four. Four. He fell some more. Hickory dickory dock. Hickory dickory dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck five. Oh, that's not five. Where's five? Oh, there it is. Clock struck five. He took a dive. Hickory dickory dock. How about six? Hickory dickory dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck six. Tick tock tick. And down he went. Hickory dickory dock. And parents at home, you can sing that song with your children. And it's just about rhyming words with these numbers, right? To help them remember their numbers. Hickory dickory dock. Let's, so the alphabet, why don't we do a little. We can, let's do this together, boys and girls. Let's see, I have my little stand, and I'll put this on a board. We can do this together. I'll put it here. There we go. Here we go. And I'll put this right here. We can do this together. Okay, it's the ABCs. And I'll attach it up here with a little clip. That is that yes, it is. All right, let me grab my marker. I think we'll use black. Okay. So this is these are the ABCs. We did just sing these, right, boys and girls? And now what we can do is try and fill in the box that's of the missing letter. <gasps> Ready? So we'll sing the ABC song, and you'll try and guess what should go in the empty boxes, which letter. All right. So we have the letter A is first, so it's A, uh-oh, we're already missing one. We're already missing the second letter. What do you think that is? What is the second letter of the alphabet? What do you think that is? Oh, I should put this up here, but all right. 
Wish I could show you that. Ow. Show you that. I have it right there, the alphabet, but that's okay. The letter A, and then second is the letter B. That's right. You probably got that right, I bet. Here we go. The letter B. So we have A, B, C, D, E. Uh-oh. That's blank. What do you think that is? What do you think that's right? It's the letter F. F. And then right next... Uh, e, F, yep, and then what's the next one after that is the letter, that's right, the letter G. How's that? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. What's that? What goes right there, boys and girls? That's right, the letter I. A lot of you know this already, but some of you are learning it. That's good. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. H-I-J, uh-oh, what's missing here? The letter K, that's right. K. And then, what comes after K? The letter K, that's right, the letter L. So let's sing again. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H-I-J-K-L-M. What's that? What's missing? The letter N. That's right. The letter N is missing. O, P, Q. What's that? Missing there. The letter R. Very good. R, S. There we go. Right? So let's sing again. A, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T. What do you think that is? That's right, it's the letter U. U, V, W, X, Y, and Z, as in zebra. Now I know my ABCs. Thank you so much for singing with me. Very good, boys and girls. You did that. You did such a good job with your alphabet. I'm so proud of you. That's wonderful. Let's see. Now I have something else we can do. See, I have, how about some shapes today? We can learn about shapes, right? Maybe you already know these shapes. Let's see. This is just to see if you remember what they are. Do you remember what these are? And we can draw them together. Put this on the board. Hold this up here. So these, these are called shapes. And they're big ones and little ones, but we're probably just gonna use the bigger ones here. But they, we can trace these and follow along. This is a circle, boys and girls. And this is one big line that just goes around and around. It doesn't break anywhere. It goes around and, well, it breaks when you start it, and then you have to come together at the top. The square is four different lines. The triangle is three different lines. And the rectangle is four different lines, but it's a different, but they're different sizes than the square. So let me get my marker, and I can trace this with you. Let's do that together. So we will start maybe right here, and just go around. We'll try and stay in the lines as best we can, and go around. Oh, there goes that cool. There we go. So that's the shape of a circle. And then we have the shape of, and this is four lines. There are one, two, three, one more, four. That's called a square. 
And we have this shape here. You know what that is? That's called a triangle. And that has just three lines right here. One, two, and one more on the bottom. Well, try to stay in the lines. There. Triangle. And then now this is a rectangle. It does have four lines like the square, but they're different sizes. It's a different size lines than the square. These are longer and the sides are shorter. So a rectangle also has four lines. One, two, three, and four. And that's a rectangle. And this is a circle. If I can write it. Circle. That's a circle. And this is a square. Oh boy. <laughs> so. Is that right? Yes, it is. I'm trying to write backwards. U A R. Is that right? <laughs> a square. S Q. And this is a triangle, but we're not going to try and write this backwards. <laughs> a. Well, that's right. Triangle and a rectangle. That's right, boys and girls. Those are some shapes, and they're so important to learn those because a lot of things have the shape are shaped like that. For instance, this this has the shape of what? It goes around like that. It has the shape of a circle. It holds the candle, the, the happy birthday candle. And that also has the shape of a circle. A lot of things have the shape of a circle. Right, boys and girls? So now I think, why don't we, we have a little bit of time. I think we have enough time to take a visit to Story Train Town. <laughs> That's the place where we can just pretend. And we have Legos and we have a little choo-choo train and we meet our friends over there. And we make believe because it's an important thing for us to do with our young minds. <laughs> so I'm just going to take this camera and I'm going to move it over to Story Train Town, which is just right over there. Not far at all. Just bring this over here. I'll put this Story Train Town right there. See all the choo-choo trains? It's right there. That's right, boys and girls, Story Train Town. And Miss Sharon is going to sit right over there. I'll sit here. So I'll sit here because I want to be able to show you the Legos that I have here. So I want to sit a little bit closer. I was sitting on the other side, but that really wasn't because I had to reach too much. So look what we have. So let's sing the song. We have a nice song for us to join here at Story Train Town. We have, and we'll put the choo-choo train together, right? Hello, hello, and welcome to the show. No, that's not, that's right. That's when we'll make join the Story Train show. But we also have the Story Train Town. Oh, won't you join me on a choo-choo journey? All aboard the story train to story train town. The train is on the track now. We're putting it together. You hear the clickety clack now. Time to go back for a while to story train town. Here we go. Ready? Where everyone you meet is a brand new. Oh, look at that. I made a new track. It's going to go up over this big hill. And everyone smiling, happy to spend some time with you. Oh, you're never blue. Whoa. <laughs> we'll ride the story train now. Sunny days and rain now. Whenever it rains or sunny. Listen to the choo-choo sounds. The wheels go round and round. We'll go this way now. In Story Train Town. There we go. We'll go around the track, right? We'll get the choo-choo train clock because it needs a story train time. How's that? There we go. Let's get the little choo-choo train clock. 
ride the stove. Here we go. Ready, boys and girls? That means it's time to go to story train. You press the button here. Ready? Here we go. I'll do it for you. Oh. And there goes the choo choo train. The choo choo train is going around the track. Right? Look at that. See? Around and around. Woo woo! The train is on the track now. You hear the clickety. Oh, you gotta be careful that it doesn't fall, go off the track. There we go. Whoa. Right? Is that an Oh, and it's gonna go up the hill. And. Oh no! It's the choo-choo train. Quick, get back on track, boys and girls. There we go. Oh, and it just keeps doing that. Why is that? Oh, we need a maintenance person around here. It shouldn't be going off the track. It should be able to go up the track. Like, come on, everybody. Everybody stay on. There we go. Deep hill. So we go up, and it's going to go. And don't fall off now, guys. Whoa, did you see that? Goes down the track. Let's give it a little help. Oh, it went right around that corner a little bit. Comes around again. There's the juicy train. You can hear the train is on the track. There we go. That's the story train. So now we have some. You know what we need to build, boys and girls? I think we could build a bridge for the choo-choo train. Why don't we build our own bridge right here? All right, so we have some Legos, right? So now I'm gonna sit a little bit closer so we can share these things together. And we have a red one, and we have a blue one, and we have a black one. Oh, two black ones. We have many, hopefully that's enough. And if it's not, I have, look what I brought. I have a lot more Legos, isn't that nice? So, we could just be having so much fun. And I brought some chickens along. <laughs> chick, 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 chick. That's right. That's right. The chickens. How about if we put the chickens over right here? They can just be eating all of the bugs over here. They'll eat the ticks. That's what they do. The tick. They'll eat all of the bugs so no one will get sick. And that'll be good. They'll eat mosquitoes and things like that. And then, all right, so let's build a bridge over so the choo-choo train can go underneath a bridge. Are you ready? All right, so let's try that. We'll try it. Miss Sharon, we'll try it with you. So we'll, we'll go up, but we're going to have to go a lot higher than that. That probably won't be big enough. I don't know about this. We have to kind of do it like that. Otherwise, it might fall over. So, and we have to make one on the other side, too. Oh, I don't know about this. Let's see. I think we have to go maybe up straight. How's that? We could do it like that. And go up straight like that. And like that. That's a colorful bridge. How about like that? And then we'll do one on the other side. Because we need to, we're making a bridge for the train, the choo-choo train. We'll go underneath our bridge. So we need a few more Legos. We're, we need these ones. We need some more like that, right? And we'll build this bridge. And the choo-choo train can go underneath it. How's that? Like that. So let's see. Do more ones like this? Yes. That sounds good to me, too. That's going to be a big bridge, right? That one. And then we'll do this one. How's that? Oh, look at that. <gasps> look at that. Isn't that so nice? That's, that's nice. Sometimes I surprise myself because I'm not. And then we'll put one to hold these together. Maybe we should use a bigger one instead of that little puny one. Yeah, let's get a big one. How about a green one like that? Okay. There's some of them that are taller. And then there's these ones. They're a little bit shorter. So I think we can use, maybe we should use a big one like that. Oh, see? And that's going to hold that together. And then how about something like that on the end? 
That's kind of cool. Maybe that could be the lookout where the people can go. The people can be on the end. Like people like this guy. This is Freddy the firefighter. He's going to watch over everything. He can go right there. How's that? There you go. And also, Bob the Builder will be on the other side. Everybody's watching out to make sure. Why is that not even? Oh, I see. I did it. Well, that's all right. They're on different levels. Oh, pick him up right away. Where? Oh, they, oh way over there. I know why. There we go. How's that? Is that better, Freddy? You wouldn't want you to fall off, Freddy. That's kind of a far way down off of Legos. So now we're going to try to have the choo-choo train go through the bridge, boys and girls. Let's do that. What's this? Maybe this could be on the very top. That's, that's kind of an interesting shape. Let's put that on the top. Why not? Maybe it has lights there. And the lights go on at nighttime for the choo-choo train. Oh, there goes Freddy. Sorry. Let's see. There we go. That'll go there. And, well, oh, not bad. All right. He's the firefighter. And here comes the rest of the firefighter crew. There. That's John. The, that's a firefighter, right? And there's Sally, the firefighter. She's around here somewhere. Whoa. Coming along. It's almost going to be a fire. Get out of the way. Oh, because <laughs> that. We'll put that over there. All right, so let's see if the choo-choo train goes through our tunnel. Do you think it will? Let's see. Let's put the... That has to go on the front. So let's fix this, shall we? We have to have it go this way, boys and girls. So we need to turn the choo-choo train around. It's gonna, it'll go under the tunnel. Ready? Let's put the rest of the pieces on. That's not it. There we go. All right. Ready? You know, they really should have some blocks, too, on them. On the choo-choo train. Right? It could have this. A red one. And it could have a yellow one. Right? A red and a yellow one. Whoa, look at that. And then we could also put... Does that fit there? We could put some of these because they need to go and build a new house. So they need those pieces. All right, here we go. All right, all aboard. Choo choo. <laughs> Here it goes, and we hope that we did a good job building the bridge, right? And we have the fireman and firefighter, and we have the builder. They're watching over this just to see if it was done correctly, boys and girls. They they gave us our instructions. I just don't want to be in front of it. Okay, so here we go. Let's see if, oh, come on, get, stay on that track. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Will you look at that, boys and girls, going right through there. Whoa, he did that. Look. Oh, isn't that funny? Oh, yeah. And it can come back this way, too. It's just going to back up just a little bit. Oh. Yeah. It's going to go up that way now. No, oh, straighten that out. Hmm. Okay, and we'll go this way now. Train is falling off the track now, but we don't care because we can fix it. Because it's pretend. <laughs> and we can go this way. You hear the clickety-clack now. All aboard the story train. The story train now. There it goes up over that bridge. Whoa. Trying. We're trying. We're reaching. Oh, it's going up. Can you see that? It's going to go up the hill. Come on, come on, let's go, you guys. Whoa, we didn't go this way before. This is a little bit different. Oh, there goes Freddy the firefighter. He can be right there. We'll go around, around the track. Yeah, how's that? Oh my gosh. We just gotta take care that it doesn't fall off the track. Dang. Okay, boys and girls. We built this. We built this city. That's right. We built the city. Here we have this, and this is another fire, uh, a policeman, right? And he can go, he can sit here. This is one of those things that you, that doesn't have a steering wheel. What is that called? You ride them, it has two wheels on it. Well, this has four. Although it could have a steering wheel. I thought I had one. We'll pretend this is a steering wheel. We'll put this on. Let's see if we can do that. There. Look at that. That's not bad. All right, we have that, and we also have, 
Whatever that is at the back. Don't fall off, everybody. Oh, you did. Sorry about that. Okay. Well, there we go. He's right here. So he's going to drive this around, whatever this is. There he is. That's his, his car. So he goes around like that. He's got to go check on the other station over there. That's his job. And then we have this guy. This is the firefighter. This is John the firefighter. Watch out. And this is his other fire truck is over there. Oh, and they're all parked right here. That's where they park. That is the fire station house right there. And they park there. And then the chickens are busy eating all of the bugs. <laughs> See the chickens? They're eating the bugs. That's what chickens do. And they lay eggs when they're not eating bugs. And here comes Homer Bear. Here he is. See him? <gasps> well, there he is. Took a little tumble. That's Homer Bear. And he drives around in his bear car and he checks on things too. Goes around like that. Homer Bear. Yep, get back in that car, Homer Bear. And you just check on, keep an eye on those chickens. That's your job. So there we go, boys and girls. That's Story Train Town, where we can just pretend. Because it's so important for you to use your imagination. Okay? And to continue to do that, even as you get, even as you grow up. Always be thinking about new things. Oh. Right? And maybe hear, listening to the choo-choo train sounds. Not the choo The fire engine sounds. Listen. Ready? Call you in scope 4109 Avenue 53. Fire oh. engine sound. Oh. Well, that's right. Now let's go back to Miss Sharon's living room, shall we? <laughs> Which is just right over there. That's where the books are. And we'll sing a few more songs. So let's go back now from Story Train Town. Let's go back to Miss Sharon's living room. Right, so I'll just be taking this with me over to Miss Sharon's living room. Here we go, boys and girls. Yes, there's the date right there. It says Story Train. And we'll just put this right back up here where it was before, if I can reach, because I'm not as tall as you. You're probably a lot taller than I am. Sometimes I wonder... Sometimes I wonder, there we go, back here. Let's straighten us out a little bit like that. Okay, so we're back in Miss Sharon's living room. We have time for a few more songs, right? And we did a lot of fun things today. We need to sing, we must sing, Five Little Ducks, shall we? Let's do that, boys and girls. That means the music will commence immediately. Five little ducks went swimming one day Over the hills and far away Mommy duck said quack, 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 quack But only four little ducks came back Four little ducks went swimming one day Over the hills and far away Mommy duck said quack, 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 quack But only three little ducks came back Three little ducks went swimming one day Over the hills and far away Mommy duck said quack, 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 quack But only two little ducks came back Two little ducks went swimming one day Over the hills and far away Mommy duck said quack, 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 quack But only one little duck came back one little duck went swimming one day over the hills and far away. Mommy duck said quack, 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 but no little ducks came swimming back. Oh no, all the little ducklings didn't come back. A sad mommy duck went swimming one day over the hills and far away. Mommy duck said quack, 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 where's my babies? And all five little ducks came back. Yay! They all came back. Right, boys and girls? They did. They all came back. 
Let me get my little clock. Hold on one second. Here we go. Because it's time for us to say. It's almost time for us to go, right? Almost time for us to go back to our busy lives. We've had a little bit of time together to read some stories and to pretend in Story Train Town and to sing some songs and learn about some more sounds about the alphabet. We do enjoy spending time together, boys and girls. I know I do. I'm so glad that you're here today. And so, it's coming up on 10 o'clock. So I think that we can sing our song. And I will see you all tomorrow on the story train. Friends will always be forever you and me. Learning and sharing. We're friends. We're friends. I like you cause you're you. You like me. Yes, you do. I'm so glad you're here. Laughing and sharing. We're friends. We're friends. For now we'll say adieu. But smile. Don't be blue, boys and girls. <laughs> We're always together. My heart is there with you. Yay, see you next time, boys and girls. Let's have a little choo-choo train sound. Here we go. Press the button. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs>